d'autres pays ont suivi. Cap vers les gibbons de que nous de démocratie. On a que le président Nigeria, mon Axini, de Dougoussi Salvi, on a que le protocole de présidence de la République du Sénégal. Nigeria's president, Bola Ahmed Tinibu, arrived very late at the inauguration ceremony of the newly elected president, Basiru Diomaye, at the Centre International de Conference, Senegal. Being the chairman of the Economic Community of West African State, his entrance drew attention. This was posted by an international journalist on Twitter, and a whole lot of people are reacting, with some Nigerians saying that that he has gone there to disgrace the nation again. Hello guys, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Tessie. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, depending on where you are watching from. Hope you all are doing well, and thank you so much for stopping by. And in this video, we will dive into the details of this notable event and the implication of Tinibu's arrival for both Nigeria's international relations and Tinibu's political standing. Why also considering broader implications for diplomatic engagement in the region. All right, before we continue, I want to beg you all to please help me by liking and sharing the video so that YouTube and Facebook can recommend it to more people. The late arrival of Nigeria's president, Bola Ahmed Tinibu, at the inauguration ceremony of Senegal's newly elected president, Basiru Diomaye, has ignited significant interest and discourse Portion. The incident brought to public attention by international journalist Kenneth Wandara through a tweet accompanied by a video depicting Tinibu's delay arrival has raised pertinent questions and reactions across border. The inauguration ceremony held at the Centre International de Conference in Senegal marked a significant moment in Senegal's political landscape. With the swearing-in of Basil Diomaye as the newly elected president, this event symbolized the peaceful transition of power, a hallmark of democratic governance in the region and attracted the attention of both domestic and international stakeholders. In the context of Nigeria, Bola Ahmed Tinibu over the years has chosen his own style and controversial way of doing things. So his late arrival at the inauguration ceremony, why other African leaders are already there, is not a surprising thing to we the Nigerian people. But as the president of Africa's most populous nation and the chairman of Economic Community of West African State, ECOWAS, his action and engagement holds significant weight, both domestically and internationally. His presence at such a high-profile event underscores the importance of diplomatic relations between Nigeria and Senegal and highlights Nigeria's commitment to fostering bilateral ties with its West African neighbor. Furthermore, diplomatic relations between Nigeria and Senegal are characterized by a history of collaboration and mutual respect. Both nations share common goals and interests, ranging from economic cooperation to regional security initiatives. Therefore, Tinibu's attendance at the inauguration ceremony not only symbolizes Nigeria's support for Senegal's democratic process, but also serves as a testament to the strong bond of friendship and cooperation between the two nations over the years. Kennedy Wandare's tweet, accompanied with a video of Tinibu's late arrival, has sparked significant scrutiny and discussion. This incident raises several key points for analysis. One, diplomatic protocol. The protocol surrounding the arrival of heads of state at international event is highly structured and meticulously planned. Tinibu's late arrival after other heads of state had already been seated suggests a breach of diplomatic protocol. This raises questions about the coordination and communication between Tinibu's delegation and the event organizers, as well as the adherence to the established 
protocols for such high profile engagement. And like I clearly stated before, as a Nigerian president, Tinibu's actions are closely scrutinized, both domestically and internationally. His late arrival at an event of such diplomatic importance carries political implications, potentially reflecting negatively on Nigeria's image and Tinibu's leadership capabilities. The optics of Tinibu arriving after his counterpart could be interpreted as lack of respect for the host country and its leadership, undermining Nigeria's standing in the international community. Let's talk about public perception. The public perception of Tinibu's late arrival is another critical aspect to consider. In an era of instant communication and social media, incidents like this can quickly gain traction and shape public opinion, social media reactions, media coverage, and public discourse surrounding Tinibu steadiness provide valuable insight into how much such incidents as these are perceived by Nigerian public and the international community just in a space of hours. The video has already spread like wildfire and is generating reactions from different corners. Now, through detailed analysis, we have explored the diplomatic, political, and public dimensions of Tinibu's late arrival. We have considered the breach of diplomatic protocol, uh, the political significance of Tinibu's actions, and the public perception of the incident. Moving forward, clarity on the circumstances surrounding Tinibu's late arrival is essential for addressing concerns and maintaining transparency in diplomatic engagement. Additionally, lessons learned from this incident can inform future diplomatic endeavors. But the problem we have is that Nigerian leaders, they don't learn. In conclusion, the incident involving Bola Tinibu's late arrival to us, the Nigeria people, is not a new thing. But looking at it from the international uh, perspective, uh, uh, Tinibu's late arrival at the Senegal's presidential inauguration serves as a poignant reminder of the nuisance and responsibilities inherent in diplomatic engagement. By reflecting on this incident and its broader implications, we can gain valuable insight into the complexities of international diplomacy and the enduring significance of diplomatic decorum in shaping diplomatic discourse and international participations. And that is it for you all my people. This video is currently trending on social media and I decided to come make a video, edited video of it for you all. So please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will definitely see you all in my next video. Remain blessed until I come your way next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.